Welcome back to the show where some random Norwegian guy sits there enjoying a glass of red wine. Oh no! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I have an idea for a video. The first thing, I've been reading about how we can clean this mattress mess uh, that I just made there. And what they always say first is that you should block it off. Uh, so I've gotten myself this rag. So how I'm going to do this is that I'm just going to blot it off as much as possible. I uh, don't want to scrub it too much because um, it, the internet says that it, you will just uh, spread it out, right? If you start scrubbing. So we're going to start out. Maybe I should remove the wine glass. <laughs> ah, too bad. This is expensive wine too. I can already see it starting to set a little bit there. Yeah, I've been reading a couple of uh, different theories on the internet about how we should treat this. Uh, some of them say that we can use uh, baking soda and some other stuff. So what I've done now is that I've gotten a little bit of water on this and I just want to blow a little bit more. By the way, this is my old mattress, so uh, <laughs> no harm done. Actually, while we're already at this, why don't I uh, just a little bit of coffee too here. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, so let's try the same here to blot it off. All right, so let's try some uh, cleaning techniques here. I have gotten, uh, this is white vinegar. Uh, it's pretty strong, so I'm just gonna add a little bit here. So one of the guides that I found online suggested that you mix 50-50 vinegar with, um, well, this is just water. It used to be catnip. Um, <laughs> so I'm putting it in a spray bottle. So I think we're gonna try to put uh, half uh, the stains with this solution and then we'll try something else afterwards uh, with the other end. The guide said to put it on for at least 10 minutes, but we'll just see what happens, I guess. So this will be the side then where we put the vinegar all the way up here. I'm just gonna liberally spray it here. Oh, that's strong. That's really strong. All right, so we got one side with very strong vinegar and then we have this coffee stain that looks like uh, something else. So um, in case you have that problem as well, I guess we'll see if this works. All right, so I emptied all the vinegar here uh, on the stains. All right, so for my next trick, we're going to try uh, something new here. I added some baking soda and uh, it's not one uh, baking soda for the Americans. Uh, three tablespoons of that. And I mixed it together with a bunch of hydrogen peroxide. Um, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be, this is uh, like bleach. Agent bleaches and then I add, added some dish soap. I think you call it Tide in America. Uh, anyway, I mix it all in this bottle, give it a bit of a shake, and then we are going to try to put this on the other side of our stain here. All right, so whoever recommended spraying this clearly did not uh, say that you should have a thick, uh, I would say like a straw sized um, tube because this doesn't work. So, what I've done is that is that I've gone ahead and gotten myself a dishcloth as well as scrub hair and I'm just gonna open this. I don't want to touch this too much because uh, hydrogen peroxide is kind of uh, a bleaching agent. So let's just put some of it and let's try on this other stain as well on the other side. Yeah you can see the results instantly here. It just bleaches it right away as you can see. So what I want to do instead is just uh, I guess I'll scrub it a little bit with this thing, make sure it's all in there. Blotting it on here. What I can say for sure is that uh, the hydrogen peroxide seems to be doing something. All right, so I got it all on here. Now, what both of these uh, guides that I found uh, online said is that we should put some uh, baking soda over everything uh, as a layer on top, I guess. And then we'll wait an hour, maybe I'll wait until the morning and uh, yeah. We will see the result. Quick update here at the one hour mark. Uh, I think it's uh, getting really nice on the side with the, uh, the hydrogen peroxide. The one with the vinegar, I'm not so sure about. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer and then we'll have another look at it. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half more. So it's been about, uh, I'd say, uh, over 24 hours at this point since the last update. And uh, this is the end result here. I got my trusty vacuum cleaner here and I'm ready to take all of this baking soda off here and we'll have a look at the result. Uh, just one note, I can see that some of the vinegar is actually not dried yet and it's been over 24 hours since I started this uh, mess. Let me get around to this stuff. All right, so uh, let's have a look at the final result here then. Um, dun, dun, dun. So as you can see, 
uh, this side that has hydrogen peroxide as well as the natron or baking soda and some um, uh, we also had some soap on there completely gone there are some very very faint edges here i am going to do one more round later for this i would say for the the vinegar stuff uh, on the wine stain it did something it did work a little bit uh, it's not entirely dry on this side here we have the so this is the original wine stain and we ended up with something like this at some points it did get a little bit better i can see that but i mean compared to the hydrogen peroxide i can't even compare as for the coffee stain here pretty much the same story as on the wine stain you can see it still have this faint uh, mark around here so i will need to go over this one more time i'm not happy with the vinegar but it did help a little bit so if that's all you have on hand i mean vinegar maybe if you do it a couple of more times i will probably be doing a part two of this later and where i try to clean the entire mattress it's kind of fun to do this stuff for now though i will be linking all the ingredients down in the description uh, so you can buy it off amazon if you want to do this yourself and yeah this uh, hydrogen peroxide method has my stamp of approval if you want to see some other cool uh, cleaning guides so today one for shoes uh, how to remove the smell instantly and I also did one on how to dry clothes super fast and how to dry pillows You can check it out if you're interested and uh, I'll see you next time